The country celebrated the 16th Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi, today, who completed one month in his office. After being sworn in as India's 16th Prime Minister on May 26, after leading the BJP to an astounding victory in the Lok Sabha polls, Modi has achieved a few goals and missed a few others. Take a look at his journey so far. On his cabinet meet, PM played the stroke on the front foot and a hit humongous six by taking crucial decision of forming a special investigation team to probe black money stashed in foreign banks. Modi was also seen as encouraging the officials to freely interact with him. At the very outset, Modi issued a few instructions to BJP MPs. During the party's parliamentary meet, Modi instructed BJP lawmakers not to touch his feet, be regular in parliament and speak in an eloquent and decent manner and highlight the constituency's problem. Modi also stressed on efficiency, speedy decision-making and improved work culture from his ministers. Directives also came from the PM to end nepotism. However, these achievements did not come without hiccups. During the 30-day period, Modi and his group of ministers also courted controversies. The PMO was entangled in a controversy over HRD Minister Smriti Irani's educational qualification. Next in line was Minority Affairs Minister Najma Heptullah, who also created a hullabaloo by her remarks on minority status of Muslims and reservation. Article 370 also became an embarrassing point for the new government when on his first day in office, Union Minister of State in the PMO, Jitendra Singh, kicked off a debate by his comments on Article 370, which grants special status to Jammu and Kashmir. Nihal Chand Meghwal, minister in Modi's cabinet, gave the opposition enough to attack the central government. The government faced further flax for sacking the governors appointed under the UPA regime and rail fare hikes. The performance of the government was questioned over the unending power cuts and water scarcity in the national capital. The PMO also hogged the headlines over the government's circular to promote Hindi on social media. The IB's report on NGOs and row over FYUP was other misses for the government. Powered by NNIS.